A week later, the machine was dismantled once again into its components to go back to Toronto for refabrication and resale. It was a tight squeeze riding by rail from the U.S. site toward the river's edge. For this time, Excalibur took the surface route, a trip by barge from Port Huron, Michigan, across the St. Clair River to Sarnia, Ontario. The project was not yet finished, though. Concrete sidewalks running the length of both sides of the tunnel were completed in mid-February 1995. By the following week, the temporary track was removed, the tunnel was cleared of equipment, cleaned and caulked in preparation to receive the ballast. Installation of utilities and signal work continued. Radiax cable was installed to ensure uninterrupted communication capability. Lake Superior granite was specially brought in to serve as the ballast. Continuous welded rail in lengths of 1,440 feet or 423 meters was laid in the tunnel in early March. Using a Fairmont tamper track laying machine, concrete ties were spaced at two foot intervals. Specially protected pandrol clips were used to fasten the rail to the ties. A Jackson 6700 tamper, followed by a placer regulator and a placer stabilizer, lifted and surfaced the track. The final stages of work included landscaping and completing the portal facades and the approach walls on the Canadian side in preparation for the historic journey of the first train traveling through the new St. Clair Tunnel. A world-class construction project one of the largest of the decade in North America. Designed, engineered, and built with the expertise of an international team. The new St. Clair Tunnel. Continuing the more than 100-year tradition of transcontinental transportation service of CN North America.